Now, staying in Indiana, we're keeping an eye on the fire burning at a recycling plant. Look at that smoke. Officials in Richmond say it's contained to this industrial site, but air quality is still being monitored with roughly 2,000 people who had to evacuate and fire marshals calling the smoke, quote, definitely toxic. Russ McQuaid with our Indiana affiliate is live on the ground for us. Russ, we know this started yesterday. The smoke coming from there was just crazy, and we can still see some smoke behind you. And good afternoon, Nicole. Yes, we're here on the northwest side of Richmond, Indiana. It's on the state line with Ohio, east of Indianapolis. And you can see that smoke. Believe it or not, the billowing has calmed down a little bit. Firefighters have been in there for more than 24 hours, pouring water onto the site where there are thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of pieces of plastic, plastic bottles at a recycling collection center that went up in flames yesterday and has spread to several buildings on the site. As you said, the neighborhoods around have been evacuated or told to evacuate. The fire did not spread there. But as a result, you now have piles of molten burning plastic, which turns into essentially a liquid and runs and it takes the fire along with it. And as a result, firefighters have been trying to get into the site, not only from up above with ladders and spray down, but also get into the site with heavy equipment to separate the piles out, break them down, pour more water onto them. Now, there is a two-story building behind me that has been gutted by flames. It is in the process of probably being torn down before it falls down. And this all goes back to the proprietor of the site. Now, there has been a contractor on the site. The city is blaming him specifically for this. However, the city also owns some of those buildings and some of their property over there. So there's going to be some issues about who is to blame for this site, which the city has tried to issue cleanup notices for several years now. Right now, we've got the EPA and state officials out here doing air monitoring. They are looking for benzene, chlorine and asbestos among other chemicals in the air and the results of those tests are still pending we've got thousands of folks from the immediate area a quarter no make it a half mile every way around and they've been told you shouldn't stay at home during this event but we've seen people going in and out of their houses just across the street here well russ i wanted to ask you about that because we can see that you are wearing a mask there but as as we look at your live shot there we can see people driving behind you at one point there was a motorcyclist with no helmet uh so people obviously aren't being uh, banned from the area what is the plan for those people where access isn't directly blocked off well it's catch as catch can it's proceed at your own risk if i've got people behind me just two blocks away who are within the shadow literally the shadow of this site County health officials warn if you feel some tightness in your chest, you've got some soreness of your throat, to go seek medical care, but you're on your own. Okay, well, yeah, uh, certainly a scary situation there. Russ, we know you're keeping an eye on it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.